Hi friends, my name is Michael Albert and I'm an artist and an author. Uh, this is my book, it's called An Artist's America. And um, I guess I'm mostly known for making art collage work using cereal boxes. Uh, I take cereal boxes and any kind of cardboard printed colorful package that the things we buy at the store come in and I cut the pieces up and glue them back together in my own way to make art. And I've been invited to run uh, workshops at the JCC in Harrison, and I'm going to be out of town those days. So my lovely wife, Erin, is going to be leading the workshops on uh, November 6th. She's going to be giving a talk where she's going to explain uh, who I am and show you some of the art that I've been making over the years. Uh, I've been making art since I'm about 20 years old when I was in college. And I'm actually a self-taught artist. I didn't uh, go to college for art. I went to school. I went to NYU, New York University, and I studied business. But I became interested in art, and I've been making art ever since. And from drawing, it kind of evolved over the years into collaging. And that's what I've been doing now for over 25 years. Um, we're going to be doing a special project with you on November 13th. And I wanted to just tell you a little bit about it. Um, I've sent Ronit at the JCC some links to some information about me and my work, uh, some interviews, uh, a documentary piece I've been working on, my website, my Pinterest, which has many examples of my art. And hopefully you'll have a chance to take a look at those and get some background information. But Erin will bring you up to date about everything you need to know about me and my work. And she's going to be bringing in a whole pile of assorted boxes for you to work with. Things like tissue boxes, soda cartons, cereal boxes. Some of these have been gently used. Uh, more cereal boxes. And you can see these boxes have many fun, interesting little things on them if you look close, closely at them. Um, and we have two special projects that you're going to be working on. Uh, I know Erin is going to go through them with you but I'm going to very briefly tell you what they are. So the first one is this collage of the Shema, which I have done this part of it. And everybody who's going to be participating in this project is going to be adding a little something that they're going to cut from a box. Uh, like I said, we're going to provide a whole assortment of boxes for you to work with. So you're going to find something interesting and not too big, you know, maybe about this size. And Aaron is going to guide you to fill in the white space around the Shema and create this collaborative artwork together. Um, I'll show you quickly an example of what you might do. I have my trusty scissors here, which I've been using for over 30 years, and I've never sharpened them. These are my special scissors. And I also have my glue bottle, and it looks very encrusted with glue. But as I work, I get glue on my fingers, and I keep grabbing the bottle, and glue chunks kind of form on the bottle. So that's what this is. And... I thought I would give you show you an example of one thing that you could maybe cut out and use to uh, fill in the Shema. So here's a tissue box, a Kleenex tissue box, and I've identified this heart over here. So what I'm going to do is carefully cut it out. I believe you're going to have scissors and glue to work with. 
cut out the heart. This is a good size piece for everybody to add. And then together we'll work with Aaron and find a good spot for it. So somewhere like there, maybe, I don't know. That, that'll be up to you. And I think there's going to be about 50 or 60 kids participating in this project. So by the time everybody adds a little something, the entire piece should be filled in and it should be beautiful and a great example of people working together on a special art project. Um, in addition to that, because for each person, that's not going to take very long. Um, everybody's going to get a piece of cardboard to work on and scissors and glue. And your job, your project is going to be to create another collage using all the packages we've provided for you. And you'll cut pieces out and you'll come up with your own idea. And Aaron will show you some suggested ideas for you to consider. Um, I know Ronit has some ideas on what, you know, what you might want to incorporate into your collage, but that'll be up to you. And I know you're going to have a lot of fun. And, you know, I hear that we're going to have some special guests from Israel, which is so wonderful. Um, Erin will tell you that in 1987, she and I went to Israel and we lived and worked on a kibbutz on a special program for a month in the summertime. We worked on a kibbutz called Netzer Sereni. And that was a very special experience for us. Um, we, we know that uh, what's going on in Israel and that region now and, you know, wish we could do something, you know, this is one of those situations where there are no words to express how we feel about what's going on there, but perhaps the Shema um, are the words that um, to keep in mind. And, um, and the idea of working together on an art project uh, at a JCC in Harrison, New York, you know, working together and uh, being creative um, can help in a small way. So anyway, I thank you so much for listening to me. I know you're all going to have fun. Um, and thank you so much for uh, allowing me to share my art with you like this. Okay. Catch you later. Bye.